All right, so I am recording this video after I already did the work on the Ford Bronco um, tailgate window because there's a couple of really important things that I wasn't aware of or didn't know to tell you while I was doing it. So basically I'm doing this now to give you a few heads up as you go through this process. Uh, number one, uh, you're going to need to push down these two mechanisms, use both hands, push them down at the same time, they'll lock into place. And what that will allow you to do is once you have your key in, you're going to actually be able to uh, put the window up and down while the tailgate's down. And it's just easier to work on it while the tailgate's down, rather than crawling into your Bronco and trying to squeeze in there and figure it all out. It's just much easier to do it this way. So once you do that, take off these two nuts, 11 millimeters, I believe, and then the same thing on that side. So once you have those four nuts off, the whole window assembly is going to slide out. You're then going to have a chair or something back there to support the window while you work on it. And I think, you know, in my opinion, that was the best way to go. Uh, another thing that's kind of interesting is you can actually use those two switches back there. Let's see if I can show you. If you need to, you can use these switches here to actually control it. As you can see, I'll push it down and it moves. So that's the bottom one and then the uh, other one's for the top. So that's important. Now, the most important thing, and I don't want you to lose your fingers or cut your fingers or anything like that. Basically, when you pull off, you're gonna see the motor in there. You'll see a center pin, and then there's a triangle of three bolts. Once you're pulling those bolts out, this whole assembly, this arm here, and then that arm over there, basically, closes up. It's all spring-loaded. It's just going to close extremely fast, and it'll probably cut your finger off if your finger's in the way. Luckily, I got lucky here because there's angle iron, as you can see in there, and that stopped it, but I pulled out right away, and it, it freaked me out. I almost lost my finger. So make sure to be very, very careful um, and support that, or I would almost roll the window all the way up so that it doesn't have any space to go before you start messing with the motor. Do not let it stay right here where you had it so that you could pull the, the window out. Uh, other than that, I think I, I covered everything else in the video. Hopefully it helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully I can respond. But I definitely, uh, definitely think this was a good modification and hopefully it lasts a really long time. The plastic bearings that were in there were just destroyed and I think these metal bearings, if I look at the actual cost of the three that I used, probably cost me 15 or 20 cents. Obviously, I had to order like 800 of them for $10, but now I have slingshot ammo. I think that's actually what they're called. So make sure when you're looking on Amazon, look for slingshot ammo, 11 millimeter steel ball bearing. Uh, hopefully that helps. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Good luck. All right, got the 1990 Ford Bronco tailgate taken apart. Need to fix the motor because the window just all of a sudden started slipping like crazy. Uh, basically, the first thing I did was disconnect the window. Very simple. Uh, basically, this is on there. You take out these two bolts. Take out two bolts that are on the window itself. You're then able to slide it out, and I just have it supported with a chair. Uh, the one thing you do need to know, in order to actually roll it out while you have um, the window down and the tailgate out, you need to push both of these in. It's kind of a sensor of some kind that doesn't allow you to actually move the motor if the tailgate's down. So, had to do that. Um, next, there were three screws. I don't know if you can see real well. I'll try to change the... There we go. There was a screw here. A screw here, a screw here, and here. So that's three total screws, and that allowed the motor assembly to come out. Now be careful, because once you take the motor out and there's nothing holding it, this thing is spring-loaded. I mean, it's pretty intense. I almost cut my damn finger off. Didn't even think about it, because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, definitely be careful with that. So what I'm going to do is I ended up picking up some 11 millimeter balls, little metal bearings from uh, Amazon. It's like 10 bucks. 
I got way more than I'll ever need, but it's either that or you buy three of them. Or you can buy like a five pack for 10 bucks. I got all those for 10 bucks. So I'm hoping that works. What I'm gonna do, you can see I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the gears. And what I plan on doing is dropping these in here, like so. And the way it works is they're actually gonna sit on the outside of this. So as you can see, if I can get this level, the idea here is, it's like a Chinese puzzle or something like that. The idea is basically to sit that in there and then those bearings uh, replace the plastic stock ones. And the plastic stock ones just break into bits. I mean, it's crazy how many pieces they were in. So here's, I mean, just a bunch of them. I had to air, I used my air hose and just blew the hell out of it. And now I'm going to grease it up and throw those balls in there. So what I'll do, and I'm sorry it keeps on losing focus kind of annoying what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put this thing back together and we'll see how it works I just kind of wanted to give you an idea that you don't need to buy a whole new motor it's almost always if you hear the motor going but you hear it kind of slipping it's because those balls have disappeared and all the crap in there is kind of grabbing occasionally but now with these metal balls and a bunch of grease I should be good to go so all right so I have a healthy amount of grease now I'm just going to kind of set these on the outside And this should just slide right in. There we go. A lot of grease. Alright, so I got it back in. It was kind of a pain. But we're looking at this bolt here. Nope, again, that's not a bolt. That's the center pin. Uh, this bolt here this bolt here and this bolt here were the three that I had to get in and it was a little bit of a pain but it worked out so I think I'll test it now and then I need to put the window back in let's see I'll turn the by the way a little trick if you ever wanted to know you can actually just press these buttons Um, all right, seems to be working. So as I said, these kind of just sit like this. Should probably throw a little bit of grease on those. So I'll go ahead and I'll throw some grease on it, and then I'll come back and uh, show you how the window goes in. All right, so now you start sliding the window down, you'll notice <clears throat> this will start to line up here. It's going to be a little difficult to do it with one hand, I imagine. So there's that. stuff one hand it's always fun try it it's my favorite thing all right so I'll go ahead and I'll do the other side and catch up with you in a second all right <clears throat> so that's it um, test it make sure everything's cool well, that's awesome much smoother than it's ever been slow at the top but I don't know if that's just because of the weight yeah that's a big relief to have that fixed so basically everything worked out um, like I said I have a ton of these metal balls now wish I could send you some um, but they were on Amazon. Just look up 11 millimeter steel ball. Uh, I think they're actually used for ammo on slingshots, and that should help you find them for cheaper. 
but yeah, hopefully that helped you out. I mean, it's pretty cool because I was planning on buying a whole new motor. Then I started looking online and they were saying how like a lot of the, the aftermarket motors or the universal motors don't fit because they have some lip that's too thick at the very top of it and you got to modify it and all that. So I just, I don't know. I did some research and found a guy that did this. Um, I don't remember his name. Otherwise, I'd give him credit. Probably a few guys, but... Yeah, really cool. Really happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and button this up and, and call it a day. Hopefully you enjoyed.